I'm gonna show y'all how to make some dog booties out of inner tubes from a motorcycle or a dirt bike. There's a certain. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you all how to make some dog booties out of inner tubes from a motorcycle or a dirt bike. There's a certain size you have to use and I'll, I'll go over that and show you all. I'm going to show you all step by step how to make it, um, how to put it on the dog and everything. We got this idea from Dr. Dale from the Rolling Plains Research Ranch. They have a video on YouTube as well. A couple other people have some too and I'm, I'm sure they're all getting it from uh, over there in Texas. But uh, we used it in Montana and it really saved us. We ran the dogs pretty hard the first couple days and chips pads were absolutely tore up i'll put a picture in the video for that but um if, it, if we didn't have these there, there's no way that he'd have been able to run for the rest of the week and so it really saved us but I'll show y'all how to do that and uh maybe it'll help y'all out all right so a couple things you need you need the dirt bike tube or motorcycle tube and the size is a it's a 2.5 or a 2.75 it just depends on how big the dog is um, Hallie's a really she's a little bit smaller than Chip is. She's got small pads, and we use a 2.75 with her, and it worked perfectly fine. So I don't think uh, it really matters that much. You also need you can use half inch or one inch waterproof tape. You need one inch athletic tape. It doesn't matter if this is waterproof or not. And then you need some duct tape. I'll show y'all how I ended up like ripping this in half. You don't really need the big um, thing of it if you had one inch duct tape it would be better than the you know the normal size duct tape. ready so this piece this section is about a six inch section that came from that i've already cut out of the inner tube itself um i made them a little bit smaller for my dogs you can make them as big as this but it probably needs to be about this size so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this one down to the size that i use start cutting it like this I'm using trauma shears. They work really good. So now you can see it's about the same size. Um, this one has the valve stem hole in it. Just We're just going to act like that's not there. Um, you want to scallop the back of it for the pad on the back of their leg. Little hole. And then you want to cut some slits about an inch and a half deep on each side. Okay, and then it's good to make little circles at the bottom of this so it doesn't keep ripping. So you cut these circles around. Alright, this is the back of the tube or the back, you know, the back section of the leg. So this is going to be the back, this is going to be the front. And then you need these flaps to tape it and I'll end up showing y'all how to do that. All right, guys, so after you've got the tube cut and everything you need for it, go ahead and get the dog out. Get old Chip Man out. Y'all have seen him before. Chip really appreciates these boots. So the first thing you want to do, take the leg and take your athletic tape and wrap the athletic tape around the dog. Right up underneath this pad on the back we go right up underneath it and this just kind of gives it something to attach to there after you've got this on you want to make sure you get leave a little flap so that way it's easy to take off then you're going to take the booty put the dog's pad through the booty all right so now you've got something to attach to you're going to take your waterproof tape you're going to flap that, fur, that front section forward, and then you're going to wrap this waterproof tape around the back section, and it's going to adhere to the athletic tape that you put on the dog. So, got that on there. The last step, you're going to keep this, you're going to pull this flap forward, or back I should say, up against the dog. You're going to take your duct tape, and like I said, I have the big roll of duct tape, but I cut it in half. Or pulled it in half 
so it's only about an inch so then you just take this and this is just a final step to make sure that you're not going to lose these booties even if you do that's the benefit to using these because they're a lot cheaper than uh, dog boots so once you got the duct tape on there do the same thing flap this little section back you can see the dog's toes are sticking out a little bit the videos that i saw the booty came out past it but i found that this works a little bit better and you're still protecting the dog's pads and uh you know the nice thing about these is the dirt just kind of comes out of these the dirt doesn't stay in there and chafe them up real bad it will get some chafing on top of their toes after a while but it's still not compared to messing their pads up really bad but uh they'll get used to it you know at first they may be uncomfortable with it but chip really appreciates them and uh hallie and i ran hallie and chip in them pretty much this whole second half of the trip just to protect them but uh, we appreciate y'all watching. I really hope this helps y'all out. Thank you.